the LIFE program is well established. It exists since 92 and we have already done almost the 4,000 uh, projects. So uh, we are building on that success. From now on it is going to contain a dedicated sub-program on climate change. So more than a billion uh, will now be dedicated. That is good news because it's going to triple uh, the amounts of money that we were giving in the past. We have three priorities. The first priority is how to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And for that we need new technology, we need new policies. Uh, so that's going to be perhaps a very important area. The second important area is going to be how to adapt to climate change. Because we see the effects of climate change already, we see the floods, we see the droughts. So we have to develop policies related to that. And the third area is how to communicate and raise awareness about climate change and how to reach the governance of climate change. And so we are going to uh, pay a lot of attention to communicating to the citizen. We hope to receive offers on good ideas from a variety of institutes and individuals. So they are all welcome to formulate their ideas on policy proposals. As Clenopod, we had a really big dream to change our problem to something positive. We have seed a company and we are cleaning lots of uh, uh, seed and grass seed and we get lots of waste. And that was the problem. What should we do with the waste? By the Bioagro project, we were able to upgrade that waste into a new type of second generation agro pellet. And uh, this agro pellet uh, has uh, benefits for the project partners because they can now get rid of over 100 cubic meters of oil use per year just at, at this facility. And they are also now able to export pellets, sell it as a carbon neutral source. For us as a, as a small company here in Sweden, it was very interesting for us to apply for this funding due to we don't have any own development or research department. To fund a project like this is very hard for a small company as we are. È importante perché ha lanciato una nuova strategia eh, avendo combinato una, una partnership fra soggetti pubblici e soggetti privati. Eh, la finalità, l'obiettivo è quello di eh, arrivare a incrementare il numero degli alberi in città attraverso interventi di forestazione urbana. Abbiamo realizzato un toolkit con il quale possono calcolare le loro emissioni di CO2 e calcolare la loro impronta di carbonio e decidere quanti alberi piantare con il progetto. Gaia è stata una straordinaria opportunità per noi per testare un una nuova esperienza di partnership pubblico privato in cui le nostre imprese soci hanno dovuto imparare a mediare i loro obiettivi imprenditoriali con degli obiettivi di natura pubblica per il bene comune del territorio nel quale si collocano e nel quale sono nate e si sviluppano. Abbiamo potuto studiare diverse specie che sono comuni nella nostra città e caratterizzarle dal punto di vista ecofisiologico. Così abbiamo appunto caratterizzato le specie che assorbono più CO2. In questo modo possiamo combattere i cambiamenti climatici e migliorare anche la qualità della vita delle persone. Through the LIFE program, and in particular the part on climate change, we want to create incentives. Incentives that reward people with good ideas either in the private sector or in the public sector. There is a lot to be thought through. There is a lot that can be done. And building on the creativity of people is really what we are hoping for.